I started playing with Lego bricks, playing with bricks in 1997 when my daughter got her first brick. But soon I, I thought, I have to do more, I have to do better. And what I like to do is that, that, that people see this and then go, yeah, you can do that too. Trains are fine and cars are fine and houses are fine, but there's more. And, and I think everybody should be encouraged in whatever they do, they're doing too. Like, now think what else, what's, there, what's more, that's fun. It's just incredible how they actually managed to get the colors. And up close, it's, you can't actually tell, but far away, it's really easy to tell. Yeah. And how do people respond when they, you know, perhaps they expect Lego to be about like trains, buildings, cars, and the first thing they see is, is this. How the, how's the response been this morning? Oh, it's been amazing. Well, it's, it's nice to see how some people just, just see this and go like, wow, and other, other kids usually, they go like, oh, dimensions, and they just cross, they, they don't even look at this. Well, well, I like it that it's made out of Lego, and that it's not really made out of just plastic. But it practically is plastic. Lego has these big, big base plates, grey base plates, 48 studs by 48 studs. It's, there are 112 of those. So I actually took the big picture, I cut it into 112 pieces, and then every piece was handed out to one of my co-workers, just like the real Rubens did. said, yeah, you make this part. I, will, I actually made like 12 or, or 13 panels myself, but in the end, 15 people had to help me with that. The design was entirely mine, but the handiwork, yeah, there I have my colleagues, luckily. And it's incredibly playful, as are a lot of the works here. Does that come back to you being a comedian in your other life? Well, I'm, I'm Belgian and a comedian, so there always has to be this, this twist. There has to be something, some element that, like the windows, if you look at the windows, they just they, they look nice and you can pass by them. Or you can go like, but that kind of window, with that kind of view, it's impossible. And a lot of, a lot of these things have that, like the seagull, it would have been a nice picture just in two dimensions. But because the thing flies out of it, it, it gets this little extra touch and that's what I'm always looking for.